Okay, it's time to see what's popping in the entertainment world. And for that, we always turn to Stephanie Haney. Hi, Steph. Hi, Jay. So I think the Bachelor franchise finally heard the calls of single 30-something ladies everywhere because we're getting a grown-up to star in the season, season 16 of The Bachelorette. Here's what we know in your pop break. Finally catching up with the real world, the oldest Bachelorette in the franchise's history was announced today at the young age of 38. Claire Crawley, who was originally on Juan Pablo's season of The Bachelor in 2014, is back, and this time men will compete for her love. She'll turn 39 during filming, and it's being reported that some potential suitors have already been recast in favor of more mature men. Go get them, girl. And speaking of reality television, everyone is talking about Netflix's new dating show, Love is Blind. Saturday Night Live got in on the action this weekend, spoofing the show with a twist. They all share something in common. Not only are they truly desperate to get married. Once I'm a wife, I won't have problems. They're also being quarantined because of exposure to the coronavirus. In the real show, daters only get to lay eyes on each other if they get engaged and have to decide if they'll get married by the finale. And now we get to check back in with everyone a year and a half later with a re Union special dropping on Thursday. Marilyn Monroe fans, listen up. A set of 200 photo negatives of the Hollywood icon are up for auction with bidding running through Wednesday. The law includes copyright ownership so the buyer can print and sell them too. The current bid at RR auction is close to $12,000 and the company thinks they'll go for 50 grand. And in the biggest change to daytime TV since Oprah Winfrey left the air, Judge Judy as we know it is ending after 25 seasons, and it was the network's call. What they decided to do was to sell a couple of years' worth of reruns. We still have a full year of new shows coming our way before that happens, but the honorable Judge Judy Scheinlin told Ellen that she's not tired yet. So Judy Justice will be coming out, what, the year later? Where? I can't tell you yet. You know that's gonna be good. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh. Please NBC. <laughs> right? So listen to this, okay? I had the pleasure of interviewing Judge Judy when I was getting my master's in journalism in oh, 2016. Wow. And she told me her negotiation style, this is what she did every year. She would write down a number on an envelope, go to dinner with an executive at the place, slide it across the table, no negotiation, it was take it or leave it, this was her number, she was not gonna do another year Did of they Judge have to Judy do it on the spot? Unless they met it. And well, that was just it. They didn't have to decide right then and there. He could take right. it home and open it up, but that was it. No negotiation. She was paid $47 million Yeah, I knew she was up, up near $50 million a year. I just want everybody to know that is not how television works. No, it's not. Wait, you don't, you don't make that <laughs> $47 million? The whole I know right Matt does. Write the number Matt? down and slide it across. That's what I want. <laughs> yeah. And they'd be like, yeah, yeah. goodbye. Okay, next. That Good is a boss 